Morning folks and welcome back to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico inshore fishing television. Our first episode for our 2021 season is now upon us. I am waiting for my good friends Chris and Kim to show up. We're going to go fish with some local guests today and we're going to target some Yucatan snook. We're going to cast and troll for them. So y'all stay tuned. We're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Morning. Here we are in the harbor of Puerto Abrigo in Progreso. We're casting for some snook. I tell you what kind of upsets me though is I were in an area where I normally catch a lot of snook. And if you see right over here, these clowns have put a big long net right through here, which cuts off my whole area for for fishing for the snook up into those docks. And it's just so wrong. You know, it's, it's illegal to put the nets on the inshore, but of course with no enforcement here in Progresso, it's, it continues to happen all the time. There's a couple of my friends out doing the same thing, trolling for the snook. Hey, Feo, huh? Lazaretis? <laughs> you know, if, if I was a native Mexican, I'd have a knife and I'd be cutting that net up, but I'm not gonna do that. So, so we're gonna make a few casts through here, see if we can hook up some snook. And then we're gonna troll up and down the harbor here and just see what uh, see what this February morning holds for us. I am fishing with my good friends, Chris and Kim. They're from Washington, they're uh, residents down here. Been down here for a couple of years now. And I'll tell you what, they love to fish. Kim's caught her some snook and tarpon. Chris has caught it numerous snook and tarpon. So uh, hopefully with three of us cast today, we can catch some fish for you. Y'all stay tuned. So my good friends, Chris and Kim, they love to fish, I tell you what. They're from uh, Washington, been down here. How long you guys been down here now? Uh, about 28 months. 28 months? Almost two years. Uh, almost two almost years. 18 months, sorry. 18 almost, months. almost two years. <laughs> and Kim, you, you've you caught a couple of good tarpon in here, haven't you? Yes. yes, one really good one. I got to actually bring in the boat. That was awesome. That was an awesome, that was about a 50 pounder, I remember that. that yep. Yeah. And Chris, you've caught, I don't know how many, yeah, I know. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. When I first took, uh, when I first took Chris fishing with his father-in-law, with Kim's dad, what he said to me after was, afterwards was, you're my new best friend. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> we, we, we become good really, friends. really good friends. Really good friends. We love you guys, definitely. All right, we're going to troll here. We're trolling for some snookies. Let's see if we can catch some fish here for y'all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Speckled sea trout, man. Speckled sea trout here. On a here DOA. Right on. On the DOA terrorized. Uh, terrorized. Like, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this. That's cool, man. They're up in here. Watch them teeth. Watch them teeth. Yeah. Grab them. All right, Kim's hooked up. I got her. She's showing us how to do it. Nice, oh. Snook. Come on, Kim, show us how to do it. Big girl, I told you, I told you. Yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah!
right, so we got a trout, we got a good sized snook that Kim caught on the boat already. We're gonna make our way out into the Rhea here, the backwaters of uh, Progresso. And we're gonna see if we can throw for some trout, see if we get lucky and add a little bit more to our ceviche. Stay tuned. Well, we've made our way back out here to the Ria, which here in uh, the Progresso, Chilim, Chubernau area is just our oh. about a 5,000 acre backwater lagoon, only about three foot deep. Chris just had a bite. It was probably a needlefish. But this area typically is loaded with speckled sea trout. We also uh, catch during our spring through the summer into the early fall. We chase tarpon down here. And uh, it's really, really a fun, fun day when we're catching tarpon in this 30 foot of water. But we're gonna see if we can catch us some trout, which are always super, super fun. Add to the ceviche. So, you know, we normally, in a couple of hours out here in the Ria, can catch 30 or 40 trout, various sizes. Like the biggest one I've ever caught out here. It's not a monster. 5.2 pounds, nice, nice gator trout. And our typical two to three to four pounds is common. Lots and lots of one pounders. But ever since we had the two tropical storms and the hurricane in the summer that came through the area, this Rhea has just been dirty, dirty. I mean, it's only three foot of water. We had super, super high water which goes miles back into the mangroves. And then when it recedes, it brings all this tea stained colored water out. And boy, I tell you, the Rhea has just been filthy dirty, just murky. Can't see the bottom in three foot of water. And it's really, really affected our trout fishing here the last, I don't know, six months or so. I don't think uh, we've had any days out here where we've caught any more than 10 or 15 trout in a couple of hours. So hopefully it'll turn itself around, flush itself out, because this is the longest I've ever seen the Rhea this dirty. And I know you guys get out here as well quite yeah. often. And you remember those days where you could just- 30, 40 oh, trip fishing day. Yeah, and you, you're floating along and you're looking to puffer fish and you get to see all, all the cool stuff. All the, the cool stuff that's like a- The crabs, <laughs> the blue crabs. So yeah. It's so clear that you can watch the trout come at a top water and turn on it. That's how crystal clear the water is. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And I miss, I miss those days, but they'll be back. They'll be back. Yeah, they'll be back. You know, uh, the, what we use out here in the Ria just as well is, you know, we have our tarpon rods, which are seven foot. I use the 6.6 six Eagle Claw 2.5 rod and reel combos, uh, the size 30 reel. We still use our 30 pound Gilzerti uh, Super Braid. And then I have uh, the DOA jig heads with the DOA shad tail jigs, soft plastics. And I tell you, they just do phenomenal. They I throw really top water as well. I really enjoy the, the rod tip feel of this rod. Yeah, no, they're super light. You can yeah, like throw them all day long and then you you like can that. feel that little tink. There's no fatigue really, like it's just a good, good casting rod. Yeah, it really is. And you really feel when that trout, you feel it right here in the palm of your hand, tink, when that trout hits. I know, and I want to feel it, doggone it. Come on, little treachers. Well, I got it, unfortunately. This Rhea still being as dirty as it is, it's just not producing the trout that we're used to. And the birds like that top water. <laughs> They're chasing it, but that's about it. So I think we're going to make our way back out to the the harbor area, catch the last bit of that outgoing tide, see if we can put another big snook in the boat. And then we're gonna make some ceviche here for you on the fresh catch of the day. We'll see y'all in just a minute.
trolling, 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 and he missed it. Well, y'all, that was fun. Great day. day. Yeah, you know, that's why I like bringing you guys along because you guys you. always catch fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I the, did a good one. The guy you. today didn't catch anything, but you caught your first snook. Nailed it. Yes, and it wasn't a baby one. That was Ooh. a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. And you, you caught trout? One trout. One trout. <laughs> it, was, it was a fun day. Yeah, no, it's always Every a good day. Every day she catches fish. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stay tuned. We're fixing to do the fresh catch of the day, and we're going to make you some ceviche. See you in a minute. Tug is a drug. <laughs> All right, so Gary is going to prepare the snook for ceviche. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fillet it right off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are our basic ingredients for ceviche. Yes, the dog likes it. So we have our two big snook fillets, tomatoes, a pepper, cilantro, an onion, and lime. And the lime cooks the fish for us. So Gary, go to it, buddy. So minced down, that's just one half of the filet of that snook, which is going to be totally sufficient for our quick little lunch. We'll put that other filet in a bag and let Chris and Kim take it home for supper. And the idea is to cut up your fish first, slice up your uh, your limes, and then let them soak for that 10 minutes or so in the, in the limes so they get good and cooked. All right, so once again, you want to do your, your fish up first, cut them into little pieces, soak them in that lime, because that'll take about 10 minutes for that lime juice to cook it up. Gary's going to start cutting up the uh, the rest of the veggies now. We'll get it all put together, and we'll cook them to have us a snack. All right, well, Gary's got the tomato, the pepper, the onion, and the cilantro all sliced and diced. You can see how white that fish is already starting to get. The lime is cooking it. All ready to mix this all together and dip some chips in there. <laughs> well, you guys, that was a blast today. Kim, thanks to you. We got ceviche. You caught your first snook and a really good solid four pound snook. Chris. He's got the ceviche. Thanks to Gary for making this up. I'll tell you what, you cannot beat it. You can make this out on the boat. You can make it anywhere. As long as you got the ingredients, slice and dice. Perfect. Let those limes cook that up. Well, thanks for joining us here on Yucatan Anglers TV. Kim, Chris, thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's always a blast fishing with you. We got the first one in the books for the 2021 season. Y'all stay tuned, stay healthy. We'll see you next time here on Yucatan Anglers TV. Adios. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there.
<laughs> my neighbor, my neighbor, what is it? <laughs>